William Shakespeare is a born writer and is known as the greatest writer in English language. He has written about 39 plays, 154 sonnets, and two long narrative poems in his lifetime. He was born in the town called Stratford-upon-Avon and lived to the age of 52. He wrote some of the most famous poems and plays, including the Hamlet. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, no more. There sleeps Titania, some time of the night, lulled in these flowers with dances and delight. And there the snake throws her enameled skin, weed wide enough to wrap a fairy in. Down the street from William Shakespeare's birthplace is the house of Joanne Shakespeare, who is the sister of William. In fact, she is the only member of the family whose known descendants continue down to the present day. When her brother died, he left her with 20 pounds, some clothing, and the right to live in the family house on Henley Street, where she spent the rest of her life. Just outside of the streets of Stratford is the home of Shakespeare's wife, Anne Hathaway. Anne and Shakespeare met in the 1500s, but no one knows how they met. What they do know is that she was 26 and he was only 18 when they married. Also outside the town is the home of Shakespeare's mother, Mary Arden, who was a farmer. And now a word from one of the farm's day laborers who will talk about the levels of society through spoons. We all have our own spoon in our pockets, basically. And as I'm a day laborer, I only have a wooden spoon. Yeah. If I was a bit wealthier, um, like the master for example, I could have a bone or a horn spoon. And after that, enter the wide range of the metal spoons. Pewter, brass, bronze, latin, silver, gold. So I know when we go to the tavern or the eating house, I will sit by some people. But if somebody is eating, I know they use their own spoon. So if they're made out of wood, I know, right? The day laborers or peasantry, I can sit with them. If somebody is using a silver or a gold spoon, I might reconsider because they are way wealthier, way higher in society than me. And all your spoons are given to you by your godparents when you are born and christened. So within three days of your birth. Which means you have expressions like being rich, being born with a silver, silver spoon, spoon in, in your mouth. mouth. Because your godparents are rich enough to give a newborn baby a silver spoon. They are quite wealthy, so they will help you out during your life. Because I'm a day laborer and I might not have a job every single day of the year. In the winter, there's not a lot of work. If nobody wants me to work for them, I don't have a job. So I'm not getting paid and I don't have enough money to buy food. So if you have a little craft like making spoons or baskets, making nets, uh, maybe repairing something or making pins or braids, it's still a little something you can sell at markets. This way, you can get that much little money that can allow you to buy food and survive the winter. And throughout the summer and spring, you have all the animals, all the fields to care for and to help with. So in a sense, you have a maximum pay and you can actually save money for the winter if you're clever with it. Here you go. <laughs> I have to say Shakespeare's story is one to remember. He has written phenomenons that have shaped English heritage. Thank you.